Thank you, Lasker Herlich. Thank you, Lasker Herlich. Um, I'd like to welcome Minister Dina into the House this afternoon, and uh, I too, uh, despite what Dar O'Brien, uh, or sorry, Senator O'Brien has said, that the government are not going to do anything about it. Um, I, I think there isn't a person here, and there isn't a senator in this room, that. Uh, does not want to see the system changed and does not want to see anything, uh, uh, you know, the wrongs, the terrible wrongs that are going on being put right. And I too would like to commend um, both Senator Norris for proposing and Senator Van Turnout for seconding the motion. Um, and uh, indeed, I know from working with Senator O'Clarty, the excellent work that, that he has done and has brought and has made us all more aware um, of, of direct provision and what, what is going on. Um, and I, I, I know, I, just speaking uh, about, uh, I think it was about a year ago, or maybe a little bit more, that we had the exact replica of the direct provision site just down the road, and uh, exactly what, what people are living in. And it is atrocious, and it is awful, um, and it, it is for far too long. And I think one of the biggest things that I would have is that while these people are, are living there in this, there are companies that are absolutely making millions of euro out of these uh, people's hardships. So, you know, I think that, you know, to say that we the government doesn't care, you know, I think that's, and I think the establishment of this working group, and I think that's, for me, would be the prime reason why I'd say, and unfortunately, why the government are not accepting the motion. And what I would say back to you is that let's let's have a look at the working group. Let's wait until they come back with the with um, their recommendations, uh, and and then let's let's take it from there and work together from there. Um, at the end of 2013. Um, the Reception and Integration Agency was accommodating 4,360 individuals, with 1,666 of this number being under the age of 18 and 451 being between the age of 18 and 25. And like Senator Conway said, I too believe um, that in, in a number of years we will have a, a future Taoiseach standing up and apologising, because that certainly is no way for children under 18 in their uh, most vulnerable years uh, to, to, to be spending all of their lives, in some cases, in direct provision. Um, and I think we do all, all, all you know, recognise that we do have a fractured and a very complicated nature, of the, it is very complicated nature of the system. Um, but uh, as I said, I mean, I have a whole speech there and I, I, I just feel that maybe this is just the time that, where we need to say, look, you know, let's let's look at this. Let's look at what's going to be done, um, and, and let's listen to the to the report of the working group. I do think, since Minister Aon Raven has taken over this role, that he has kind of vocalised what a lot of us have been working on, and have have been doing well. That I I can't answer where where. Uh, but you know, I do think that, you know, and I would ask for your cooperation in that way, that we look and we wait when they come back to uh, report back to government that, uh, with their deliberations that we do look at it. But I mean, I think uh, what, you know, some of the points that Senator Norris brought up as well, but um, I mean, you know, 19 euro, uh, 6 euro for children, I mean, it is absolutely, I mean, nobody could live on it. And I, I, I know I read recently where even um, the amount of toilet paper has been limited and people are, are, are you know, allocated a certain amount. And that to me is totally inhumane, absolutely inhumane, that we need to move, the for, uh, move forward. And that's why I say thank you to Senator Norris, I said, for bringing this debate um, here, for letting us have the conversation. And uh, I, I do think it's unfortunate, but I think because of the technical issues and because the need of the, we need to look at the workings of the of this working group, and then I said let's let's take it forward from there. So thank you.